Hey, how we doing, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of Storytime with Mr. Smolin. And as always, my friends, we have another tremendous book for us to read today. So we better get to this great story. Let me get that drum roll, please. Our story today is Giraffes Can't Dance. What? What do you mean, giraffes can't dance? I thought they could bust a great move. Our author is Giles Andre. And our illustrator is Guy Parker Reese. So giraffes can't dance. Let's get going on this thing. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. But his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Ooh, look at that, Gerald. Gerald. Look at that long neck he's got to eat those leaves high up in the tree. <clears throat> He was very good at standing still in munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh, man. Look at him standing there eating those trees. Oh, man. Oh, but look when he tries to run. Oh, man, look at that giraffe. Can't even run. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Well, look at all those animals getting ready up here. It says jungle dance. They're getting ready to whoop it up in the jungle club. Look at them getting ready to have some fun. Oh, the warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced the tango that was elegant and bold. Oh, look at those warthogs waltzing. Oh, those rhinos. Look at those rhinos rocking and rolling. Oh, look at those lions. Oh, man. They're good dancers. Ooh, the chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Oh, look at those, those chimps. Oh, look at those. Oh, look at those baboons. Oh, man. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Oh, man, poor Gerald. Come on, Gerald, I think you can do it. Oh, Gerald simply froze up. Oh. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. Oh, poor Gerald. Hmm. So he crept off from the dance floor, and he started walking home. He had never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Oh, poor Gerald. Hmm. Then he found a little clearing, and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Ooh, a different song. Oh, hmm. maybe that could help. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. Oh, that's good advice, Mr. Cricket. Look at him up there. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. Oh, look at him. Ooh, he's starting to feel the music. Oh, Gerald. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Whoa, Gerald, look at him go. Man. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I am dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Oh, that's one happy giraffe. Look at that happy giraffe. Busted a move. Oh, then 
one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite en en entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen! Oh, look at Gerald. Man, he's busting a move. Oh, hoo hoo. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Oh, man, look at that. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Oh, that is so great, Gerald. And that's our story. Who liked that story? Anybody like that story? I know I like that story. Gerald, he never gave up. He was confident in himself and his dance moves, and he just busted down to the beat. As always, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that story. I look forward to reading you another story very, very soon. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Pick up a book, read, 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 and I will see you soon.